Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Or good, good midnight from Australia. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Happy anniversary. Sorry we're two days late. <clears throat> just, uh, just didn't quite work out the way we wanted to on the Tuesday, so I'm sorry. Hello, hello. Happy everybody's here. Hello, Brat, Rita, Renee, Annie O, Linda, Michree, Bettina, Karen. How's the weather? It's actually beautiful. It was a little nippy this morning, uh, but the sun is shining and it's gorgeous. As soon as that sun come up over the trees, mm, it's beautiful. Nice and warm. Hello, Mike. Good morning, good morning. Pumpkin soup, yummy. Got myself a nice hot cup of tea. Mm -mm -mm, very good. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Uh, 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 good morning so far. So, and happy it's Thursday. We've had some um, cases pop up in the high schools uh, close to us, a couple villages or towns over. So, we're a little, we're a little. Eh. I was remiss the other day and didn't thank you for the panel you included with me. Oh, yeah, no worries, Cherie, no worries. <laughs> Just have a little extra, you can have some fun. Just that you never know what you want to make. Turn it into a bag, turn it into something fun and, I don't know, interesting. Hello, Wendy, hello, Zella, hello, Donna. Oh, you're very welcome, you're very welcome. I always try to put in a little extra for my peeps. Hello, Sonia, cheers. Uh, it is Earl Grey, I'm, I'm, I'm Earl Grey fan. I like Twinnings Earl Grey. Yep, that's that's me. That's that's my tea. That's my go-to tea. If I if I have a really sore throat, um, I'll usually have like a raspberry lemon with a little bit of honey in it or something like that, but mostly just um, Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Um, did I have any ideas on how I uh, how I would have quilted. Well, I quilted the, I've quilted a leaf, the veins in the leaf um, uh, pattern, so maybe you want to do that. Hello, Teresa. Hello, hello. Good morning, Miss Connie. First cross stitch, glad I made. Well, I'm glad we did it on a Thursday now instead of a Tuesday. <laughs> it just didn't, a, a Tuesday just wasn't working out for us this week, and I just, you know, when you just have one of those weeks. Well, that's kind of what it's been so far. So I'm, 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 I'm plugging away now. <laughs> Hello, Missy Angie. We were just video chatting, actually. All right, so we have just a smidgen left of this poem to do here. We've got May I Never Grow Too Old, which is right here. So we just have to do this uh, stitching across here and then to treasure once upon a time and then work on our dragon. So let's get uh, our colors out and get to treasure. There we go. Yeah, so far it's a beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it rained last night. It was a little chilly. Uh, I had to wear my toque, but that's okay. Toque's okay. That's when I got to break out all the gear, you know, like the hot, the hot pockets in the those the boots and in the in the gloves. Mm. Tuesday are always crazy here. Well, maybe I should. Well, we'll see. We'll see if we get more. More people come and hanging out with us on a Thursday than we do on a Tuesday. We just may switch it to cross stitch Thursday instead. So, we'll see. Uh, it is. That's what I made pop a long time ago. Would you like to see it, Angela? That was one of my the gift that kept on giving, as he calls it. <laughs> and I got I got a couple little marks on it, but I've been given given many suggestions on how to get rid of them. I just haven't done it yet. So. There we go. I'll put it in the overhead camera so you can see it. It measures da, 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 22 by, let's see the tip of the wings maybe, the widest. 22 by 16-ish. So, oh, hold on, I got a customer here, one second.
I did. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, sorry, sorry. Um, I was, uh, I've was. i been trying to um, uh, get her to come get some stuff for a couple, <laughs> couple of days now. So, um, <coughs> so I was, I, when she said around 10, I thought, well, maybe she might come before the live stream. <laughs> it's okay. No big deal. Watching you and waiting for my new quilting frame. Oh, how exciting, Karen. <gasps> what did you get? Tell us what you got. Is that a quilter select ruler? It's an omni grid. Mm. Oh no way! Are you Teresa? Oh well, Miss Helly deserves it. She's she's a she's a cutie pie. Hello, Miss Nadine. Just arriving. Is that it? Dream frame. Oh, I'll have to look that one up. I don't know that. I don't know that one. So yeah, I, Angela wanted to see this. So that was that, that was the dragon I did. I started it in like. Oh, it was probably 99, 98 or 99, and then I finished it off in early 2000. So, but I stopped about he here. I, I'm not sure if I got, I think I didn't have this stitched in here because I, I used a golden thread, and boy, my goodness, was that ever annoying. Oh, actually, here, let me zoom in a bit, and you can see a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, that was awesome, and it broke every single time. I do like two stitches, and it would break, and it would do two stitches. But this is what was requested for this project. I was very annoyed with it, so I think I had done all the face and the dragon wings. I had left this part empty and worked a little bit down here, and then that was about where I ended it. And then I took a few years break, and I had a pin tucked in here and as it was wrapped up for a while it left a little bit of a rust mark because it was pretty much in a box in England so and then um yeah so that was the only the only thing thank you thank you and the back is almost just as pretty as the front so zoom it out okay there we go oh, okay yeah, so that, yeah, I made that for pop. So I need to get that stain out in this little, I'm not sure if it's a pencil mark or something, get that out and get a nice little uh, frame for it or a nice big frame for it really. So before it frees too much on the edges. Yeah. And I really like that gold uh, weave that they had on the canvas, like the eight, the cloth. I really like that little gold bit in there. That's why I, I and I, I knew it would pop through because you can see it as it pops through the, um, the, 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 um, the thread. So yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? It's pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's my brother. Oh, okay. I'll have to look it up. Hello, Joe from Indonesia. Cheers. Tea to you. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's continue here. Break check the edges to make it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea there, Angela. <sighs> Didn't think about that. I have some break check too. I do, I do. No, it was a, it was a good fun project to to test my skills at. That was kind of like my really my couple of first big projects. All right, so now we need to pay, place our two for to treasure. Once upon a time, here actually we'll zoom in on this one. A little bit. Got to go stitching out here though, I guess. Okay. Um, now where do we want the two? It is in line with the G and down two. So there's the G. So one, two. That's a good idea there too, Pat. Yes, I do remember that, Angela. Yes, I do. Miss Angie. It's so weird calling you Angela. I know you're Angie. <laughs> All right, is that okay? Can you guys see that there? Yeah. Okay. Try and keep it as center as I possibly can. It's two treasure. 
Yeah, we usually go for just about two hours today. <clears throat> it's pretty much on the on the time limit because I still have crossing guard and other thoughts, other things to uh, to deal with. So. I'm already behind on the weekend project. Angela is my trouble name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Pat. No worries. <laughs> I read it as surger, not surgery. <laughs> That's funny. The only I, as you, you you corrected that I was like, oh, did I, did I read that wrong? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> well, yeah, I read it wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> I got what you were meaning. <laughs> but that's funny. <laughs> All right, now to treasure. Now we need to move over two, and that's the start of our other T for treasure. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day out here. I can't believe we've got like Thanksgiving in like 10 days. Seems like it's really early this year, but I don't know, maybe not. I know we've had it uh, around this time many years. So. It's always the second Monday. Do -do, do -do -do. Must be such a beautiful bookmark when it's finished. I'll be so happy. <clears throat> Bringing up wonderful memories of my mother in law and treasuring those memories of her. So it's been a really good adventure. I'm very happy with that. It's nice to be able to talk about her with, with Munchkin too. Because so, she passed away when Munchkin was only like oh, 10 years old. 11, 11 years old. Oh, oh, I went up too far. I should have went on the ankle. My mistake. There we go. Doing the knee. Mm. Hello, Patty C. Uh, five, three by five frame or smaller spaces. Mm, nasty weather's raining all day. Windy, great. Oh, that doesn't seem very fun there, Annie. Oh. Hello, Diana. Hello, hello. Just working on the last little phrase or poem section of this bookmark. And then we get to start making a dragon. I love me a dragon. I have, a, I have one I'm going to do uh, next. It's really, really, really cute. I will share it next uh, week uh, with everyone because it's, it's a free one that, that I found anyway. Well, I, I don't know. Not everything on the interweb is free, but this seems like it was free. But I will double check. So, and it's really cute. It has a dragon in it as well. So, um, if that's all I want to do, then that's all I want to do. That's really cute. I really like it. All right. T R E A S. Yeah, we're going to continue working on the um, cathedral window on Saturday. Put, finish putting that quilt top together. It's cutting, well, quilt together because it's done when it's done. So I'm very, very excited by that because it was, we were making some really good progress on Saturday during our 12 hours. I can't believe it was 12 hours on Saturday. The time went by way too fast, as it always does. Definitely. Is that zoomed in okay, or would you like it a little bit more? I mean, especially when we start working on the dragon, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want my hands to always be in the way either. So, 
And so I try and take them out. We have rain here in West Michigan. Yeah, we had rain last night, but it wasn't too, too bad. Um, it, it, oh, yeah, morning at, morning crossing guard rain, rained yesterday and afternoon crossing guard rained, but more, more, more so in the afternoon. The morning was just kind of a spittance of annoyance and but the afternoon was kind of it cut it picked up quite a bit so i got i got wet both times so but i did make sure to come home and warm up and i didn't i didn't uh, and i took off obviously my damp jacket right away and if i needed to change i changed so but uh, yeah because i certainly don't need, need to catch a chill or a cold or anything that's for sure Hello, Ms. Gita. Have you for forgotten the Frisbees on the DD? I have no idea what you're talking about. Freebies? Free, free, freebies. Mm. No idea. Are you in the right chat, brat? <laughs> Um, treasure. All right, now we need an E. And how is Miss Gita today? And how's your little munchkins? Do, 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 do. Really, Fly? Why you come bother me now? All right, two treasure. All right, let's seal that off. And then it's uh, quotations and then once upon a time quotation. Let's slip this under here. A little trim. Jennifer from Dragon Dreams will at times post freebies on her Facebook page. She is the designer of... Oh, okay, well... You know, Dee Dee and Jenna makes nothing to me, so <laughs> I don't even think I had uh, their Facebook page on. So, one word e learning. Ugh. I hear you, girl. All right, well, I should, I'll, I'll go look. I'll try and uh, look later. But yeah, she's got lots of, from my understand, they're free. But I, yeah, that would be nice to know if that one I'm looking at, wanting to do next, is on, actually on there, because that would be nice. I could share that with everybody then. All right, so the first. Quote, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one over. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one over. Okay. Oops. That's okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get on your train of thought, and I just, I just, there was no welcome aboard. It was, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's communication. We're communicating. Okay, now here is that. And now we've got to go once. Is over one and down two. Yeah, well, some some kids have been out. Um, well, because I know pretty much all the kids that go to that school. I'm getting to know some of the new ones. Um, of course, I've chatted with their parents for years and years now. So one was out all week because she had the sniffles and they didn't want her back unless she had a COVID test and, uh, and, then, and then cleared by the doctor. Or she's out for two weeks. She has to be out for two weeks. So the parents opted to, you know, forget. So we're just out for two weeks. Because apparently there's a five to six day waiting period on getting the tests back now because of all the kids being tested as they're going to school. So fun, fun. But, and there's been others that oh one one had a, a had started a head cold, but because she had a bit of a fever, you know it was like oh good, good. you know parents are just like besides themselves and not knowing what the heck to do you know 
I do want to follow the rules, but morning bees i want to do her gemstones yeah oh into a quilt oh that would be very pretty oh yeah you, you're talking like the burst stoned ones yeah i've seen all i've seen all of those i'd like to do the november because november represents pop and i so it'd be nice to have the have the one have either one of them so The government in the Netherlands is still not convinced that face masks are a good thing. Nobody is, so nobody is wearing them. Oh, well, we're just trying to follow the rules that are trying that are being given to us, right? I don't want to be one of those crazy people. Okay, once, and then we need two whole spaces, and one, two, and then we go upon. You have to see that all right. Our school has five confirmed cases already. Oh, where are you, Karen? Did I miss that? If you told me earlier, I'm sorry. Well, we, we got, like I said, we got um, in Guelph, which isn't very far from us, about 25, 30 minute drive. Uh, and it's usually where Pop ends up his main uh, work um, home base I guess thing it would be there he hasn't been there since like March really since before March break and uh, yeah there's two high schools out there but most of the kids that from this village go to St. Um, um, Joseph's yeah I think and it's St. Jacob's that's actually has the has one case and then there's another high school that has another case so but that's still creeping really close to home here I don't like it oh oh there you go PA we, we, we used to live in Harleysville Pennsylvania and yes there was Harleys in Harleysville oh there you go don't go there it's a pawn U-P-O-N oh, excuse me hello Tina to see you right yeah yep yep we're here we're here always wear a mask i'm going to wear it even after covid is over to cover up the wrinkles <laughs> well the, the other kids walked into school the other morning they were they were thankful for their mask it helped keep their face warm they said so i thought that was kind of cute like yeah it'll be useful in winter okay i'm gonna have to finish this o and start a new thread my tail's getting really short. There we go. To treasure once. And we're working on a pawn. We're working on a pawn. To do, to do. Okay, all right. Get me a new tail. Oh, that's too short. Probably wouldn't be able to finish all of it. Uh, Westmoreland, Colorado. Oh. Oh, shopping, but everybody's looking at me like I'm a crazy alien. Well, and I know you don't, it's, it's like, you know, just do it. Just, just do it. You don't care what anybody else has to say. You're taking your own health into your own hands and you're doing what you think is, is best. You know? so, though I know it's, it's a very, lots of people have very mixed emotions about the whole masks and whether they work or not. And, you know, we have, we have family in the medical profession and they, they say no, they don't work, but it's more like the placebo effect, right? Hello, Ms. Ann. Was it gemstone dragons? All on one cross stitch pattern? No, I think they're separate ones. They're all separate ones. And then you can, you can put them together, I believe. I don't see why you wouldn't or why you couldn't. Hence why I think Pratt was going to make the quilt. So, How's Miss Anne Hayward today? How's hubby? How's hubby doing? Uh, 
it would be uh, Dragon Dreams. Uh, Jennifer, um, oh, she's back up in the chat. Uh, if you go Dragon Dreams uh, Facebook page, you should be able to find it. Okay, apparently, uh, Brat was saying they have uh, free patterns, freebies off their website, so you can check it out there. Okay, Dragon Dreams. Okay, all right, let's have some tea. Let's have some tea. Let's have a moment with tea. So what, what do I need to go for? Me? Can I go back to me for a second? Uh, I'm fooling with the buttons. I have power now. Oh, I do have power. All right, let's take a, take a moment here. Your internet is acting up? Uh-oh. All right, it's delayed on my end, that's for sure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, lovely little Earl Grey in my nice warm and mug so it would stay hot for most of my stream. So, Okay, why is the Steam Ripper count at 12? <laughs> what a Steam Ripper today. <laughs> uh, so if you're in Colorado, Karen, how's the fires around you? I heard some of them got put out. I was actually watching a demonstration of the fire extinguisher fluid or, or, or gas or whatever the heck it is that they drop. Boy, that, that's a lot. That's a lot of pressure coming down. I was watching, they did a camera inside a vehicle and outside a vehicle, and it just like annihilated the thing. I was like, my goodness, because the bomber kind of came down a little bit to, to, to put up, obviously put out the fire. It was, I was, I was very interesting. I'd never seen that done before. I think I watched it on the Weather Network or something. It was pretty cool. It was really cool. I was like, whoa, that's intense, man. Yeah, we're supposed to get snow in some parts of Ontario this week, but more northern, and we should get possibly uh, really bad uh, rain and hailstorms down here. Sorry. Oh, Mesmona County. Oh, I was wondering how you went from PA to Colorado. I was very confused there, Karen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. County PA. Gotcha. Yeah, if you just go to the Dragon Dreams, you should be able to find it there, Baze. Let me know if you have any luck, because apparently she's got some freebies. I'd like to see the freebies. And I'm all about the freebies. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all about the freebies, about the free, free freebies. All right, what do we got here? There. So we need to go upon a time. All right, so let's finish that off. Let's go, uh, I'm going to assume overhead is the one I want. Scranton, PA here. There you go. I knew there was a Pennsylvania in the house. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, look at me. Again, I'm, learning. I'm learning stuff, people. I'm learning stuff. There's hope for me yet. Don't give up on me yet. I have no idea what's for dinner tonight. Anybody got any ideas? I kind of had one, but I don't know if I really want it now, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, Clearfield, PA. Clearfield. Are, 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 those, are those close to each other? Or not even? Not even. I'd have to, I'd have to Google Mapias to figure that question out. Once upon a time. We can really shine once upon a time. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize we were filming tonight. <laughs> uh oh. Someone's at the door. Hold on.
Catch it, Sophie, catch it. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we are having fish and battered fries in peace right now. Well, that sounds good. I can't get on Facebook at work. It is under Dragon Dreams or another name, so I can check it out when I get home. Yeah, Dragon Dreams, I believe, Baze. Yep. Sorry, busy day here in the quilt shop. <laughs> People picking up and dropping off. He's one of the, the farmers in the hood. He got a new pair of overalls, so he wanted them a little bit shorter because they drag. So I'm um, no problem. I can help you out. <laughs> yeah, I'll look. I'll look after the stream if I remember, or when I get to sit at my other desk uh, later today. Later to this evening. But I was thinking, I'm thinking about having, like, we haven't had homemade french fries in forever. And if you're not waiting for the french fries to come out of the fryer, they, you know, they just don't taste the, the same. So, and, and I like, I like, I like hot fresh fries. Lower half of the state. Okay, Karen. Um, uh, so that's, uh, I think I thought about making some homemade fries, though it's very time consuming. Um, and having like, um, a meaty chili, not chili, meaty taco kind of sauce to put on top. So like you can have the French fries and then the meaty sauce and then some lettuce and tomato and stuff like that and some cheese. I don't know. That was kind of the idea that I had this morning, but I'm not sure if I still want to do that. Seems like a lot of work. <laughs> I got lots of other things to do. I have whatever my husband wants to buy. My kitchen is closed tonight. There you go, Connie Joe. <laughs> so you probably aren't too far from each other between Karen and Teresa. All right, once upon a time. Oh, sorry, I should have went overhead. Uh, I apologize. Hold on, overhead camera. Oopsie, oopsie. My, my mistake. It's not, not paying full attention. So. Just gonna leave it out here. T I M E. Hello, Miss Claudette. <laughs> Uh, I'm cheating. We've gotten frozen fries as I'm uh, oh minute committee meeting tonight. Oh, there you go. Just keep you in trouble for a little while. <laughs> What's going on, Miss Claudette? For those that are interested, her website page does have some freebies on it: generosity, elemental dragons, and Chris Smith ornamental series and pot of spot of tea oh there you go i think that was the one i was gonna do there brought was the spot of tea and the little dragons in the teacup or something like that i thought that was just so cute uh oh i got a knot uh oh it's naughty got a knot going on around here Ooh, that sounds exciting. That sounds really exciting. I've had people want to try it, and then they come and they try it, and they're like, nope, it's not for me. <laughs> and I've taught them how to load the quilt, and how to, you know, square it, and do this, and do that, and how to pin it, and put it on, and so on and so forth, and... And then we get to doing the free motion or even just some ruler work or whatever. And they're like, nope, no, no. And I'm like, okie dokie. <laughs> no problemo. <laughs> some people are just not comfortable with it. Some people are. They're, they're natural. So, all right, now to put our last little quotations here. And the one next to the E. 
Oh, they just hit the over one. There. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Let's tuck that in. And then we'll unroll it so we can see all the poems so far before we add the dragon. Okay. Okay, we're done with that thread, so we can put that one away. And this one away. And we're gonna have to get out our greens. Because I think we're gonna use both of them for this. Okay, so let's loosen the top. Just loosen these. Uh, little nubbies here, and the same with the bottom. Just loosen them, and then you can turn this part in the direction you want it to go. And there's the poem so far. You can see that. There we go. Pretty cool. And then we'll work on our little dragon down here. Okay, so let's scroll this up a bit. Make sure it's tightened. Up to sleep. All right, have a good one. Got the grand teens and little miss three in the morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> yeah, we'll tighten that up. Thank you, Jesus. Um, this is my second long arm. It's a nodding. The other one is a baby lock. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Ah, right, you can come on over anytime, man. Doors open. You don't even have to wear a mask. No. <laughs> well, I don't know. Depends. You got to go through quarantine. <laughs> mm. Have a good sleep, Miss Cherie. Have a good sleep. All right, now to put our little dragon together. What is our double down? Double down. Double down was the olive. Okay, so the olive was the darker green. No, it was a lighter green. Moss was the darker green, right? Yes. Yes, there we go. Pay attention, Laura Lynn. There's a test later. Hello, Miss June. Hello, hello, hello. How's the UK today? It's like, I, I know I ask, it's like you know how all of it is, even though you, you probably just got your little corner. <laughs> We're working on our dragon. It's the last part of this poem. I doubt we will finish it today, but it's a good start for next Tuesday. There we go. Do, 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 do. All right, now we need to count to make sure we're getting this in the right spot. The right spot, baby. All right, so if we go under the U and we start up at the top here just to give ourselves a proper reference from where it needs to be in the proper placement of this uh, poem here. So if we went from the bottom of the U down two whole stitches, and then on the third one, we go to the right. And that should be a good um, spot. Now, what was H? H is mulberry. So I'll have to, oh, it's going to be purple and green. Oh, there's going to be some purple highlights around the wings. Yeah, around the wings, looks like there's a bit of purple highlight. And then what's the X? X. Moss. Okay. Oh, yeah, this could be a very colorful little dragon going on here. London is bright and sunny. Oh, very nice. Intermittent showers in your bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, so if we went under the U in a pond, we went down one and two, and then on the third one, we start and we go to the right. One and two. Sorry, you guys can't see that. Sorry. One and two. All right, so let's 
finish those off. All right, and now let's take our little highlighter. We can just do a little line through what we just did so we don't get confused. And then under this far one here, we're going to go over three. So we're going to go down and then over three. We're building a dragon from the top down and one scale at a time. <laughs> All right, now we got that set done. Now we need to go straight under this one here, skip one and do two. All right, so let's go right under here. Skip one, so there's the one we would normally go in. Now we're going to skip that. We'll just come over one more. One and two. Ooh, hello, Hildy. Hello, Cynthia. You inspired me to want to get out my cross stitch, but it's not that. But it's in that dreaded closet. Oh no. <laughs> It's where you're not sure whether when you open it, if everything's going to fall out at you. And then it's like, all right, maybe it's a good time to just do a little quick clean here. <laughs> what can we do? All right, now let's mark off what we've done because I don't want to get too far and then get too confoodled. It doesn't take much for me, so I like to mark things off. And if you lose a, use a highlighter... You can still see the colors underneath, so you can do it another pattern again. And just use another highlighter to cover over top. And if you use a pencil, you'd actually transfer that pencil mark and you, those, yeah, you would transfer it back and forth to your project. You don't want to do that. So, mm -hmm. I'm doing a cross stitching of the Lord's Prayer right now. Oh, very nice. Very nice. You'll have to share that. All right, so now the next line is we're going to go one over from this one to the left, one under, skip two, and go one. So one to the left, one under, skipping two, which would be one, and then two, and then one. Super rainy in the Netherlands. Yeah. At least the sun came out today, but it was raining last yesterday. And most mostly yesterday and, and last night I think it did as well. I'm trying to think of like if it did overnight. I know I had the window open. I just don't remember actually hearing it rain. So that's not saying it didn't happen. Uh, all right, let's finish off this and go farewell. Do, do, do. Yeah, we actually have a nice big uh, full harvest moon tonight. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. All right, so color those in. Right. All right, and then this one, we're gonna come back all the way over here. No, I think we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna go, we need a space of two. So that's one, that's two. And we need one, two, three. One, two, three, three. I think I got that right. Okay, space of two. Mm -hmm. I have a foot check. Oh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh my gosh, Teresa, you be good. Be careful. 
Oh, very nice bays. Very nice. They are so handy when you don't have the right light or if you want to do something at night. Like at least I have the daylight around me here and I got two big lights here and this light here, that light there. Like, you know, this is lit up like Christmas going on here. Um, but you do, you do need a lot of light when you're working on, um, you know, intense projects like this, right? So got to light it up. As they say, light it up. This fly's being a pest. He'll pop to come get the fly swatter and start whacking, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid of the results. <laughs> well, I didn't at first, Karen, and I learned that lesson. I learned that. I used a pencil. My very first one, it was uh, uh, like an intense big one. Um, what was a dog's face? And I left like pencil mark from my hand all the way around and I, it took me a long time to scrub it clean that's for sure so I learned I learned that lesson all right one two three and then this one goes down in the center and over one two three four five one two three four five okay so let's go one Yeah, definitely. And and to have a nice chair to yourself, unless you can tuck yourself into a nice comfortable spot on the, you know, corner of the couch or whatever. Because um, you need places to put your, your you know, your, your needles and your scissors or your snips and, you know, and your pattern that you're looking at. And then you can magnify the pattern or you can magnify the uh, project. I mean, I had one of those. It was like a little... Um, half a cylinder of clear plastic with a line in it and you can place the line on what you were and it would highlight like it would magnify that little section so that was very handy that was very very handy I, I, I know I still have it I just don't remember where it is so yeah that's another nice little thing and it and it uh, kind of um, had this little roughy texture to it so you can kind of move it down your paper and it would stay just there a little bit And there's other ones that I've seen where it's a clipboard and it's magnet like that, and you, or not magnet, but it's highlighted and light, and a light, a light is in it as well. And you can move that down your your board with the magnet stuff. So it's pretty cool. All right, so we got that done there, and then let's go. We need the third one down here, right? Yes, it is. Uh, and then we go over two, over two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Oh, I only did four. I was like, why well, didn't I count and see? And that's why we always double count. I wasn't measuring up for the second line as it should have been, but we're good now. All right, so over. And then we've got two whole ones, right? One, two. No, I did something wrong there. One, two, three, four, five. No, I was right. Just gotta learn to count, noob. Hold on. Added six, and it should have been five. I thought I, I thought I counted um, four, but I guess there was five there. Just have to do it right. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Hello, Miss Pat. Just lurking today. <laughs> Turkey lurk away, my dear. Turkey lurk away. I can't believe it's Thanksgiving soon. Ooh, I'm so excited. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna get me a turkey if I gotta hunt it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Kim. Happy you're here. We're just finishing the bottom part of this um, bookmark poem with this cute little dragon. And I'm just making the dragon right now using my olive green thread. And I'm checking off what I've done in my progress. Okay, I'll show you both so you can see. I'll show you. So you can see where it's green there. Oops, there we go. 
and then the green part of where I've stitched. It should match up pretty darn good. And now, I go one over and underneath. And then once we get that, that purple in there and that uh, um, weedy color, it'll look really nice. It'll really make the uh, dragon pop out. And then two down. <laughs> I'm taking over at night. Move over, Ma. <laughs> Time for you to go to bed. I got projects to work on. <laughs> Do, do, do. All right, that's good there. Now we can move over to here. We want to come down one, two. Let's do the one in between. Maybe I think there's find that spot. This way, yeah. Okay. One, Should go all the way over. So we're gonna have the two there. Let there be a space. And we got those two. So we go all the way across. Okay. <sighs> yeah, we have to do that here too. Once upon a time, I found LL cross stitching. <laughs> that once upon a time is today. <laughs> Hello, Miss Ellie. It's lovely to see you, my dear. Glad you are here. How is Denmark today? One, two, three, and then one past. Okay, so here, here. There, one pass, because there's one and two, right? And then, uh, and then two more. One, and then two. We're building a dragon, we're building a dragon. So excited. I like dragons. Sad news though, no eggs were fertilized, so no baby this oh, I'm sorry, Helly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your, your family. It's hard. It's hard when you really, really want them and and there's yeah, um, um no. I was gonna go somewhere, I probably shouldn't have gone, so let's let's leave that. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. And it's hard on everybody too, because you just you want the best for them, right? And especially when they want them so bad, you want them to have them too. You know, you had the 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 joy of having a, a child or or two or you know however many people have. I only had the one, so. But yeah, you have the joy and and you know and obviously enjoyed it to the point where. You know, you were you were a good parent for them to want to be a parent, right? I mean that that stands in itself. So, hello, Miss Penny. Well, hello, hello. I'm happy you're here. We're catching all sorts of people today. We may just start switching it to Thursday. So I don't know. <laughs> it don't matter to me. It's one one day or the other because the other ones are pretty much filmed with uh, are filled with filming. So 
All right, now let's go across. Hold on, we're going to where we're on this row right here. This row right here, we need three spaces. One, two, three. On this one, which should lead up to that corner, we can start. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six. One. Trying to get a comfortable way I can I can do this without moving it too much for you guys. Two, three. Four. Five. And six. There we go. Alright, now it's one space, one stitch. Okay, so let's make sure it's lining up. So one space. Yes. Oh, 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 I pulled my thread out. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, it's me. And you have hopes up. Yeah, well, that's true, right? You have your hopes up and you're really, you know, you're, you're thinking such positive thoughts that how can it not, right? Like how can it how can it not be what they were they were really wanting and looking for? So And especially when they want it so bad, you want it so bad for them at that point in time too. Alright, and then it's space of two. So one, two one and then two and then here. Making sure it's lining up. Yes it is. I go two stitches. Okay. And then back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Big hugs. Share the love. Mm -hmm. Miss Jean is in the UK. Do, do, do. Thought we might actually get Gwenny today because Tuesday she just does. A, I think it's a choir church thing in my bobber that she's got going on Tuesday mornings. So that's why we never really see her for here for the cross stitch. But thought we would have caught her today. That's okay because she's she's not too far from Calgary either. And of course, I grew up in Calgary. I know it well. Well, I, I knew it way back when. <laughs> I don't know very much of it now. It grew. It grew bigger than, than I ever anticipated. <laughs> um, okay, we probably have another to go back, and then we'll have to change our thread. Let's mark what we've done here so far so we're keeping on track. Okay. Think I got everybody. I think I did. Yeah, if your kids only knew how many people they had cheering for them. <laughs> you think all the positive vibes we got going on here. We just you know, help help send it up just a little bit. Help send up the love. We need a little help down here or there. If you could be so kind as to grant this over here for these little munchkins. All right, what do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, straight in line with the other one. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. And yes, it does line up with that one. Now, where do we go? Uh, do we need to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, space of one and then six. One, two, three. 
one. One, and it should go one past, yep, for six. Okay, good, 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 good. Confirming this is gonna look like a dragon in the end, I swear. <laughs> Not just some green spots right now. <laughs> Get some more green out. Right. Like this, and then we'll tie off on the back. If you guys want to know how the chickens are, you got to watch Tuesday's video. <laughs> they were giving Pop a hard time. <laughs> Giving them all the noises. Oh, oh, here it is. That's funny. Squeaky toy. Squeaky toy chickens. Mm -mm. Now back again to finish off this row. Okay. What time are we at? We got lots of time. We we'll just keep plugging away. We've done. We've done good. We might. May not get the outline done, but we could get a good portion of our dragon done. Keep on plugging away here. Keep on plugging away. Put the stitch in here and there. All right, now let's mark off what we did. Like I said, I don't want to get too confused and it doesn't take more than just a line um, finished in between stuff to, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, didn't I do that one? Yes, I did do it. Okay. There we go. That's looking good. Now we're going to come down and start right here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a space. Okay. Okay. So here. One. Four, five. So if Penny's been there all her life, then she, I, I was there when she lived there, but we didn't know each other. Nope, nope, nope. It's interesting. That's interesting, right? Lived in the same place at the same time. Okay, now I gotta go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's double check that here. That's a big number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, okay, so one, two. Three. Four, five, six, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, now back the other way. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we're going to have to start um, even picking our green tomatoes and letting them ripen inside because uh, it's starting to get chilly and we didn't get any second harvest out of our beans. At least I didn't see any. So, I mean, we got some nice plants, um, with some leaves and stuff like that, but none of the beans showed up. So, disappointing, but that's okay. Be on it a little bit earlier for next year. We'll actually put plants in the ground when it comes to that time instead of seeds so they don't have to come up and germinate, take those weeks to do that. So, yeah, we got big plans. We're going to start, we're going to grow some things inside this winter. So you'll have to watch the Home and Hearth Network, or Home and Hearth Living Channel. Oh my goodness. And that's why I don't name the channels because I'd never get them right. Um, the Home and Hearth, you definitely have to check that one out as we're going stuff indoors. Let's see how it goes. All right, so that's that line done. Here, do the one past, and then we go one over, and we got three. One over to the left, to the left, to the left. There we go, and we do three. Oops, uh oh, uh oh, I hit the stream thingy. Uh, oh, okay, we're back. Sorry, hopefully, I didn't mess anything up on there. Just I hit the stream deck, should be all right. We'll go three, one, two, three. Oops, back out here. Okay, and then it's a space of two and then two. Okay, so space of two, so one, two, and then three of them together. Oh, no, no. Hold on, space of two, yes, and then two together. Okay. There we go, that makes sense. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Okay, and then it was one. And then take two more. And you have space. For one, take one, and then one, two, three, four. Hold on. There's the three, there's the two, there's the second set of two, there's the one. So we go one, two, three, four, five. So we go one, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we got enough. Got enough holes now. And that should line up right underneath the other. Yes, it does. Yeah, please share your work. It's nice to be encouraged and uh, and um, um, inspired by other people's artwork. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she would, Bees. I'm sure she would. How, how could she not? Ooh, very nice. I used to always take Munchkin to art galleries and museums and all that sort of fun stuff. Let him lead the way. See where he wanted to go, what he wanted to look at. There's a lot of dinosaurs <laughs> for the museum. <laughs> At art exhibits, he was always uh, drawn to you know, bright colors and movement.
You went to Father. I went to, um, oh my gosh, Browns. St. Francis. I went to St. Francis. That was my high school. St. Francis Browns. All right, now here, let's check off what we've done. Let's go back to main camera here and have some sip of teas. Okay, let's check off what we've done here, 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 and here. And we just got a little bit left. Look at us. Make a progress. Indeed. Oh, do a little stretch. Pop had me up really early, two mornings in a row. <laughs> Like, oh, dark 30s. That's well, because he had to go far away. <laughs> Our sport rival teams. <laughs> yeah, and late last night. He wasn't home till really late. Well, late for, for us and me, I mean, yes. So. Definitely. All right, so one underneath. We go one, two, three, four, and then a space, and then four. All right, so... Underneath, got to do a four. Yeah, and when he he left like at like before or around six o'clock in the morning, I just came and started working in the quilt shop. I mean, because I mean I was awake and the lights were on, and you know, so I was like, might as well get busy. We'll get busy. And then went to crossing guard and then worked, 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 went to crossing guard and worked, worked, worked. <laughs> um, I think I one, two, three, four. And then it was a space and then four. So there's the space and then we want to do the four. One, two, three. Four, all right, and then next, mm, space of two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just double check there, space of two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Done, sorted, one, two, and seven. Uh, I am. I'm definitely enjoying the the fresh air for sure, and you know, and it's it's been nice to to you know see and wave and chat with the peoples and and stuff like that. So and I can tell you know some people have missed me too, which was nice. You know, it's it's getting a little chilly, so it's not my favorite season, but you know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven. Yes. But it's nice to be able to um, uh, talk with them and still be able to, you know, catch up with the kids. And then the kids miss me too. So you guys are working so much, and I love how you're expanding your channel presence as you're going to document the. Book. Oh, of course. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yep, yep. Unfortunately, the cost of lumber went skyrocketing, so we were actually looking at different types of buildings. We were actually looking at steel buildings and uh, kits that we could put together or have a crew put together. So um, we have contemplated that, too. I mean, it's just with all this, the current situation, we've had to change plans on that regard, like possible change of the building design. So, But the whole plan is still there. Yeah, no, it's it's been nice to be out there, that's for sure, Annie. It's nice to be out there in sunshine, waving at the peoples. And some people got new cars. So I was getting some, for the first couple of weeks in Crossing Guard, I'm like getting some random waves from some weird vehicles. And I'm like, hold on a second. I got to put the, the face to the vehicle and the vehicle to the face. Who, who are you? And then I'm like, oh, well, you got new wheels. <laughs> Cause they're waving at me like you know it's their normal thing but i'm like i'm so used to recognizing cars first and then cars to pass or cars to drivers 
you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, a couple of the big truck drivers actually uh, slowed down and said, welcome back. I had about seven or eight of them in the past um, three weeks. Said they were, it was, they were glad to see me and happy I was back. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> now slow the heck down before I give you a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been nice. I was like, hey, dude, you didn't have to do that. So, yeah. and most of them were, would, if I was stopping uh, to get the kids across, they would roll down their window or, or yell out. It's good to see you. Hello, Kelly. Hello, hello. Yeah, it's nice to be appreciated. It really is. Even by the ones I'm, I'm stopping, you know. So, it don't matter. You got to do what I got to do. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to put eight. One past. You're building a dragon. We're getting there. We're so close. I can almost see them coming together here. Two. Oh, sorry. Three. Four. It was one one day last week. It was, <laughs> it was actually kind of mad. I think it was earlier on in the week. It must have been the Wednesday or Tuesday. Tuesday, this little boy who wants to cross with me all the time, even though he's on the other side, his parents scoot up at the top. Anyways, they're doing it safely. I don't care as long as they're doing it safely. So he wants to cross with me. So he crossed the third or fourth day. He crosses with me, and he tells me he loves me. And I was like, oh, you're so cute. Thank you so much. You have a great day, and so on and so forth. And then the next day he crosses, and he goes, I love the buses too. <laughs> And I'm like, I am so happy you love buses. I love buses. <laughs> I said, they're big and they're beautiful. And they got all those wheels. And they got all the windows. He's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was just so adorable. His parents are just laughing like crazy. So, and then, and then I find out, like, um, the, the afternoon where he, the morning he told me he loved the buses. One of his, uh, well, his grandma uh, comes with his mommy to pick him up. Well, I worked with his grandma. So I, I was like, oh, Connie, is this one of yours? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> she goes, yeah, he was, he was telling me about the, the lady with the stop sign. And I knew exactly who he was talking about. Cause I, I worked with her way back in Foodland days and, and I was a crossing guard back then too. So she knew exactly who he was talking about. I just thought it was really cute. I was like, oh, so as he's done school, he wants to cross with me again, and then they cross up at the top of the hill, or or they go to Foodland or whatever. But it was so funny. I'm like you were just the cutest little munchkin. <laughs> All right, now we need to go skip over three. Let's make sure we did our seven there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it was eight, wasn't it? Four. Yes, it was. Okay, eight. So skipping three. Do one. Skipping three. One, two, three, yep. Do one. And then skip one. And then we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Skip one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, two past. Good, good, good. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. We have to get some more green thread here. My tail is really short. I won't be able to make the tail of my dragon if I don't get me a new thread. Close. Can I lose this little section here? Maybe, maybe not. It's fairly close. Okay, let's see if we can get it in the back.
There we go. Uh, I could probably use most of this one. Finish off. Well, I may have to use some more. That's okay. Yeah, so far it's been nice here too. Uh, how's everyone today? I'm just in for a bit for people calls. Gotcha. So far so good. It's been it's been lovely. It's lovely and sunny and and uh, it's getting it's warm out. But we, some of uh, northern Ontario is expected to get uh, snow. Indeed. All right, let's finish off this down here. This is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, just going to lose my tail here. Oops, I didn't want to go that way. Silly you. Silly me. What's going on? Oh well. Just cross you the way you are. Three under that. That should be the face of the dragon done. that there. So we'll go over here. This line. One, two, three, four. And then just right under here. Oh, I didn't count this out here. Oh, I got those done. And that one's done to there, so we got to go one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth one. So one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth one. Got to find the right hole. That makes sense. Yes, it does, because it lines up with the top ones. Okay. Now we got to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh boy. Alright, because we're making the tail. Okay, we're making a tail. We're making a tail. I'm fishing. Oh, very nice. What's you out to catch? There's always certain seasons for certain fish, so. I don't think it's salmon. I thought salmon season was over. Maybe. Chilliwet River! Yes, that river is chilly in Chilliwack. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we can go up to one here, one here, and then we can go up two from there. One and two. Okay, I'm gonna come back with another color once we finish this green. Woot woot. Yeah, some coho. That's some good salmon. 
We actually had salmon last night for dinner. Salmon steaks. We haven't had salmon, like salmon steaks like that in, in about a year, so. It's nice to, nice to have them, even munchkin. Munchkin's more of a canned fish kind of kid, or it's got, you know, it's battered, battered and fried. It's about the only kind of, so to take like a trout or a salmon or something like that and cook it, it's not normally his favorite, but he, he said it was really good. So I like, I did something good last night. I'll take it. I'll take that little micro, micro wins. All right, I think we are done with green. I think so. I think so, I think so. All right, let's tie off. Yeah. All right, well, let's finish highlighting what we've done. So it makes it easier to see the next steps. Now let's go in with mulberry, which is the purple, and do all those purple sections. I have to get some off. See the spiel here. All right, see you later, Kelly. Thanks for popping by. Thanks for hanging out. Staying a while. Indeed, indeed. There we go. Sorted. Now, okay, so we'll do the H's first. Okay. Put that over there, put that over there. Making sure the H is the mulberry. Yes, okay. All right, so this should add the highlights to the wings. Okay, so you gotta do a couple of purple stitches up here. to the side here. Yeah, see you Saturday. We're going to continue working on the cathedral. I'd really like to uh, finish up that project before we start something new. So I don't need all these half done projects hanging around. So got to get it done. D-O-N-E done. So that's that side. Now let's tie off because we got to skip almost through half the project. So I don't want that purple on the outs on the tucked underneath. Okay. Um.
I'm just filling up this little section right here with all that purple. Leona? Yeah, so far so good. Oh, he's good to pop to pop in there and chat. I know he's working. Good, good, good. Alright, and then we got two purples here. And I think we're done with the purple. Two purples here. And then we can grab our next color, getting all those other little spaces. Okay, now just confirming, I've got those there, got those there, and that's there, and there's no more. Okay, perfect. Tuck it underneath. Tales of Wonder. There, here. Actually, I can show you. Right there. And if you go X, yeah, Tales. There we go. There we go. Pop's got it. You can get a copy of the repattern. And we're almost done. It. It's a bookmark. It's a bookmark. I'm working on a dragon. Cute little dragon. Okay, so that was that. Now we need. Let's do the golden grains, which is the tanny colored one. So let's grab that. And oh, that's that's gray. Put this. Oh, 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 there's gonna say I thought we had a little one in here, and we do. Let's use this instead of cutting a new one. Hello, Jeanette! What's going on? We're almost done this project. I'm very excited. Just a couple more things to do and then some highlight stitches, the black to go around. So mm -hmm. Hello, Dennis. I was watching you cross stitch and you took out a picture. I started three years ago. Had a hard time. Oh, who are you? See? I'm sorry you had a heart attack though. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Ow. All right, now. Yeah, it's from 2000 Dragon Dreams is uh, the creator. Okay, you can see that on the side there. It's from year 2000. There you go, Penny. All right, so now we're working on the eye. So that is these little spots in here. So let's get those done. Oops, need a bigger tie. Sometimes you just got to take a break from maybe some of the things you normally do as a craft and do something a little bit different. For one, it takes away the stress of the other ones, I think. Uh-oh. Sophie dropped her snack. Whoa, whoa. She's been holding on to that snack for days. Yeah. Are you going to get it? You can get it. Yes, you can. Pick it up. Are you going to show it to people's? No? Crawl back in your chair. You're so funny. <laughs> You're so funny, Loaf. I don't even think her camera was up today, was it? No, I think I knocked it over. Oops. Sorry, you didn't get your famous time there, Sophie, today. Mummy's a big meanie. You can't bury it in the chair. You sleep there. You're being very silly. <laughs> you guys could see her. She tried to bury it in the chair in her quilts. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 
<sighs> You're a silly little nut job. You're a nut jobby bobby. <laughs> she <laughs> cut it under like two little folds of fabric. It's funny. Yeah, you gotta you gotta take a break from it, even just mentally, and 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 think of other other creative forms or just even if you just read or you write or you write poetry or you're just outside watching nature or taking pictures or something you have to have you have to have a little a little something else Two, three, and then the one. It should be a nice weekend. We've got some you know, next couple of days are, are pretty good temperature wise, you know, high teens. 20s during the day, so which is good. All right, now these claws, these are claws. I'm assuming yes, they are. So we got to do some half stitches in this direction. Oh, sorry, you guys probably can't see that, can you? Sorry, there's a half stitch. Oh. Hard part is getting it to poke through the canvas. Okay, so there and there, we got two claws going in that direction. Okay. Oh, look, I gotta go over here. Uh, all right, so that's there, and then we got one in the opposite direction here, coming up from the bottom. And a full one here. And now we have a couple over here. So let's let's tie off and move over. It is, isn't it, Penny? I'm sure it is. That's why it's going in uh my, my book collections. Tis it is. Okay. Oops, that's not where I want to start. So we just ended off, silly. All right, here we go. We two eyes over here, and then two claws. Mm, got top finish for my son and daughter in law's birthday Christmas gift, and I have so much leftovers. Oh, very nice. Very nice. That's a lovely gift. I don't usually go that out. To, to, here, you get matching this and that. <laughs> so here's your quilt top. <laughs> Be happy and run. <laughs> All right. Now the next color. Do do do. Did get all that? Uh, na, 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 na. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, at least it gives you something to, to make progress on, though, right? So, and it still keeps your creative atmosphere going. Okay. Now for the X. The X is the moss. Okay, so that's the other green. So here comes the highlight colors. I don't think I have any other green. Oh, do I? Is that it? Oh, that is it. Okay, here. Do this one instead. Mm, how did you get some green or gray thread on you? Yeah, that's the different color, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, if 
Fabricland near me recently moved and had a great sale, so I bought a panel that is placemats, table lamp, which Christmas theme. Right now. Very nice. That's a great idea. Fantastic. All in one sort of thing, right? All right. Now, last part. Let's do the top of our tail here. Let's get that sorted first with this light, darker green. Not lighter green, darker green. Hopefully, I chose a dark enough green color to contrast between the the two. I hope so. I guess we'll find out. All right, now we go three across. Two, three. Sorry, I can't look in the camera there. I should have adjusted the overhead, had, had it zoomed in first beforehand, so sorry about that. I'll get, I'll get better next time. That's two stacks of three and then one to the center of the three at the top. And three, and one at the top. All right, so let's see. Uh, yeah, no, we'll tie off because other than that, if I drag this over here, you may see that dark green thread coming to put some of the dark colors over on this side of the dragon. So I'm going to tie it off. Now, got some scales we got to do here. So there's that one coming in. And then we need two. We need this one here. And then two above it. One and two. And then we go up another little set here. So we go here, one, two. Two on top. Making some dragon's mighty scales. I think so. So one and two. And then in here, fill in this part. Then we just have to highlight with black. some of the details out in the dragon. Okay, 
I think that's it. Do, 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 do. Yes, it is. Okay. You kind of see the shape of the dragon in there. Well, you can see the shape, but you can't really see too many of the details. Okay. There we go. And then we just need to highlight with some of the blacks. It can be cool. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Chose the fabric and the pattern for this one. I just don't like it. <laughs> Black. <laughs> oh, we 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 get so experimental, right? So, hey, yeah, it's not it's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad. Okay, I'm gonna tidy up, put things away, and we will finish it off. Because I haven't decided if I want to do any stitches up and down the sides here of this um, um, this pattern stitch out either. So I'll decide that by the next time we show. It's getting really cute. It's getting really, really cute. I'm very pleased with it so far. Okay, tuck our little bits and bobs in. Make sure we're not losing anything. Our little pattern. And there's the pattern. Exclamation tails. If you're interested in it, okay, and it just gives you can't you don't know really what the colors are going to be besides just their little suggestion here: midnight pebbles, moss, olive, mulberry gold, black brown, what have you. So uh, I chose this like more of a rusty kind of copper color for the text. So I I really like that. I don't always just want black, right? I want to be able to be colorful with the text. So thank you, thank you, appreciate that. Yeah, so far so good. It's looking really nice. Just have to do a little bit here, and like I said, if I decided I want a little stitchery to go all the way around or something like that, I'll decide that by next show. So, looking good, looking good. Yep, yep, yep. Anybody have any questions about this project? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Hello, Jackie. We're just about to say goodbye. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it's getting, it's getting there. It's getting really nice, and it's, it's a good size bookmark too, when you think about it, because that's it. You know, stretched out. It's a good, I don't know, foot plus. So, I think, I think it's. Oh, hold on, overhead. Go the other way. There we go. So you can see that. Duh. Helps if you have all the information. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Definitely happy with it. I think it's turning out really, really nice. Oh, loosen my knobs here. There we go. Get it. No, no seam ripper today. <laughs> Apparently, Pop had to count at 12 when we started, so I don't know what he was counting. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's looking really nice. I'm 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 quite happy with it. So. <laughs> and then I'll take a chunk of this and put it to the back. And that's why I thought if I decided I wanted to do those stitches, I could use those stitches as my putting this together over the back of this and sealing it up. So what do people normally do? Do you put like a cover on it? Do you put fabric? Do you put a chunk of your leftover bits over on top, like, or do you not worry about it if it's a bookmark? Because I don't think I've ever made a bookmark before, so. Well, I thank you, Hildy. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, if nobody had any questions, then, like I say, exclamation tails, T A L E S, only in the live chat, but you can always click it afterwards if you watch the video, and uh, it'll get you to the link, so. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. We're going to continue the um, Cathedral Windows project. We started on the 12 hours and made lots of progress on it. We're going to make it more progress on Saturday. And uh, looking forward to seeing everybody there. So big hugs to you. And thank you very much for your time and joining me today in this lovely little Once Upon a Time project. And we'll finish it up next time. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your day. Be good. Stay out of trouble. Watching you.